<laughs> Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. That is amazing! But now, I have a new challenge for you. I know this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but I know we can hit it. Guys, our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. And also guys, don't forget to follow me on social media. All the link and username is down in the description down below. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race. I'll see you in the video. What is going on guys, it is your boy T Stingray or as you guys know me as T Pro and today guys I am going to be showing you how you guys can get the interiors on the older vehicles and car dealership tycoon But before we get started with this video guys, you guys already know what to do Should I say it again or do you guys already know what to do, huh? Like should I say it again? I want you guys to leave it in the comments down below Do I need to say it again in every single video or do you guys already know what to do? comment down below i, I want to know what you guys uh, think what i'm about to say all right all right comment down below <laughs> all right guys welcome back to the channel if you guys didn't know foxy added interiors in the game guys he added five new vehicles and he also added a six uh, cars and he also had six current vehicles that we have right now and added interiors on them guys and i'm gonna show you all those six today and i'm gonna show you guys how you can get it so the first car guys is actually the nissan 2000 this is one of the cars that i didn't know what it was in the trailer guys because they really very very showed it just a little bit and i couldn't uh, couldn't tell at all what the car was or they didn't even show it at all and you guys can see the Nissan 2000 right over here They added an interior on this car. So let's go ahead and pop it out real quick And you guys can see this is the older version of the car and I'm gonna be showing you guys the newer version right now So here's the Nissan 2000 right over here guys. Of course, we got the steering on the right side this one is uh, actually really great in detail i actually love how there's so many gauges in here and it's not just uh you know plain besides the seats but you guys can see we can see fully out the window and you guys can see clearly inside and you guys can see we can move our arms i absolutely love that and uh, the fact that we have first person view now uh, especially on the right side is actually really really nice and very very refreshing in the game i'm going to be driving a lot in first person view now guys and not third person view anymore but it does look very nice how we have an interior on this car i wonder why they picked this car first to have an interior but you know what i'm not complaining at all hopefully they'll start adding more in the future and you guys can see when this doesn't have an interior it's just a very very dark tint i mean you can see the inside of it but there's no seats or steering wheel at all but now it does so this is actually a awesome change from this car right here and the next car on this game guys is the audi rs6 right over here guys you guys can find it in the uh you know the, your garage if you guys already bought it the addy rx6 guys or in real life it's the rs6 you guys can see that this one doesn't have an interior right here but i'm gonna show you guys the interior in just a second this one is also fully tinted just like the previous car and you guys when you go look inside there's absolutely nothing in here uh in here at all no wheels no seats nothing at all so this one is gonna be another car with an interior i'm gonna show you guys right now rx6 right over here guys this car looks so amazing with an interior. We got a full hatchback with a four seater and I love the fact that this one is like a cream interior, like a white slash like cream and brown interior. I absolutely love that. It's not just all plain gray, but this one is a little bit more detailed 
uh, on the inside with color and you guys can see we have the digital dash in there uh, fortunately we don't have anything and of course we can drive it in first person view i feel like i'm sitting a little bit low i can't see over the the wheel but this thing looks absolutely insane inside i absolutely love it and you guys can see the turning that we do it's just so accurate man that is so cool we're definitely going to be racing like this now you guys can see that it's not tinted anymore you guys can see clearly inside oh my gosh this is so cool the next vehicle that was added with an interior guys is the jaguar f-type right over here a very very beautiful sounding car now has an interior you guys can see it also has a very very dark tint you guys can't see inside of it at all and yeah i can't believe this actually got an interior i i believe this wasn't even in the trailer at all you couldn't really guess it as much i think they showed it for just a brief second maybe but i don't remember that uh that fully guys but i know that this one was uh one of the cars that was picked to have an interior guys and yeah i'm gonna show you guys right now and it looks absolutely amazing now i wonder why they picked the f-type guys like i said um i feel like they just picked some random cars but maybe it was a little bit easier doing it then but you guys can see that we have the f-type right over here very very detailed i love how there's like a gps over here like a screen or maybe even for just the radio we even have the transmission right there and a digital dash right in front of us so this is cool i absolutely love it they could have colored the seats just a little bit maybe they could have colored it like brown or they could have made it uh you know different colors on the interior but the wheel the detail of the way the wheel looks really nice we got some buttons in there so i'm not complaining man this is great this one guys we saw on the sneak peek trailer and also on the main trailer itself guys i already knew uh what the car was just because of the rims and then the shape of the side view mirrors guys yes we finally got the interior for the lamborghini huracan and this was the free huracan guys so you should have gotten this in your inventory but yes guys they have an interior for this car now i can't wait to show you guys in just a second but this one you guys can see it is another dark tent you can't see through inside of it but you guys can see, uh, view the inside but there are no seats and a steering wheel but now i'm gonna show you guys that this has an interior now and it's super super sick and you guys probably saw this on my last video already of me revealing the five new cars in cdt you guys see the huracan has the interior it looks really nice and you know like i said i wish they could have just made it two different color we have the digital dash right over here uh it did it doesn't have the screen right in the center because this one is the older model the one uh, you know the older model didn't have the screen in the center it just had a bunch of buttons i wish it would at least put you know some buttons or some knobs in the middle to make it look a little bit cooler but i absolutely love this interior guys it'll just uh, uh, update automatically you guys don't have to do anything in the game you guys will get interiors as soon as you get into the game but this car is no longer available so if you guys don't have this uh, guys it's gone forever you can't get this anymore and this one was free too now this car guys i don't know why foxy added this car you know to have an interior but i'm not even complaining at all this is uh, the lamborghini raven or the reventon guys in real life and this is one of the quickest lamborghinis in my opinion you guys can see that is one of the coolest cars too with the opening aside events just opening up like a wing but they are going to add an interior on this you guys can see it is blacked out again or tinted out in the front and the side uh windows guys and i'm gonna show you guys the interior here in just a second this was in the trailer as well guys but you can barely barely see it i kind of had to guess it myself and i guessed it right but now let's go see the interior on the reventon Woo, you guys see this you guys see this i saw this on the trailer guys and i couldn't make out what the car was only by a little bit the only thing i could make out of it was the uh, handle on it and then the little side vent and as soon as i saw that i knew it had to be the reventon and look at that we could clearly see the interior from the outside of the car guys and it looks amazing i love how they have this saddle brown interior in here kind of hard to see with this giant like pillar right on my way 
but it's doable we can race this in first person view guys yo this is so cool i wish they would have added a uh like you know a transmission knob in here if it was a manual i think that would have been cool but the saddle brown interior i dig it guys i absolutely love it and i love the the steering wheel as well last but not least guys this was kind of a big giveaway in the trailer and the actual sneak peek trailer guys that the uh, pagani zonda r is getting its own interior and you guys can see this is you know darkened out as well the front and the side but you guys notice in the trailer that it showed this side vent right over here and then the roof scoop and then the wing and the biggest giveaway was the carbon fiber and of course the shape of the car but i can't believe they actually gave this car a you uh you know an interior which is absolutely sick and this is one of the coolest cars in the game hopefully we see interiors in other cars as well guys but this one i'm gonna show you guys right now to see how that looks like so this one guys i really was super excited to see how the interior on this was just because this is a multi-million dollar hypercar but now that we see it it looks absolutely amazing look at the interior guys what it's got that pagani screen right in front of us kind of looks like we have a roll cage too that is so cool and you guys can see it is a little bit uh plain on the inside doesn't have anything going on i wish they would have had that saddle brown like they did on the reventon on this one but this is so sick too i absolutely love it and we can race easily with it in first person view guys this is not hard to control at all and it looks really really cool okay here we go look at that wow <laughs> it's no longer tinted but it looks amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did be sure to smash that thumbs up button what do you guys think about this brand new interior update do you guys like it do you guys hate it do you guys think they could have done a little bit better of a job but like i said guys this is a first step to more than five interiors coming in the future i'm sure they're going to be doing the other cars as well and if they do any other cars what other car do you guys want to see i want you guys to leave it in the comments down below and so i can read them and see what cars you guys want interiors on them i personally kind of want the bleed to have an interior and also the koenigsegg absolute or the yesco just because those are my favorite cars uh it wouldn't hurt to see a uh you know another lamborghini to have an interior like the centenario or even a uh you know a mclaren p1 that would be super super sick but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and i will see you guys in the next video peace out